Welcome to another episode of Museum Monday. Today we look back to 1985 when Norway won the competition for the first time with the Bobby Sox and a song called La de Zwinge. You know, the stage was very big, even at that time. Oh. Scandinavian was a huge stage. And how many people in the audience? 8,000? Uh, yeah, something between seven and 8,000. And, and that was, at that, that time, they said that that was the biggest stage ever in Sweden. Actually, it was big enough for us. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You mustn't forget that we were Norwegians, right? We were representing Norway, <laughs> and it was like uh, not in our wildest dreams that Norway could win the Eurovision. We Norway actually hadn't won anything at that time. It was like the beginning of uh, everything, <laughs> everything else. But um, it was fun, and we said to each other before we entered the stage the first time, we said we might not win this, being Norwegians, but we're going to look like winners. Norway. We had eight twelves eight countries using the 12 on us and every time we got this 12 my stomach was just more and more convinced my god we're gonna win oh my we, god we can win <laughs> this we can win this and Kiki Donison was for Sweden and we were in chips so she was you know sometimes she was number one we were number two and Germany three and sometimes we were one Germany two and Kiki three yeah, it was a good, and was a good I was I was the only one who knew that she was pregnant and she couldn't win <laughs> so when she was number one and we were number two and Germany three in, a, in sometimes, she stood up and she said, oh, I can't <laughs> win. <laughs> and then it ended up with Norway, Germany, Sweden. So we were all happy. Elizabeth uh, sometimes says that. You remember, Hanna, when we came to Gothenburg, we said we're going to give it all because we, yes. we can sleep from Sunday. <laughs> We didn't we sleep didn't. for a year. <laughs> Two years, three yes. years, I think. Lady Swing opens up for fun. You know, yeah. when we were going to win Eurovision for the first time for Norway with the song, I mean, what song could be better to win with? It's, there's, it's a party song. It makes people happy. It makes us mm. happy. It's filled with energy and musicality. To me, Eurovision is so important. It's the only time no Europe unites in feel-good and yes. joy, yeah. poor joy. And I don't know if people out there are aware how important it really is. Still, my love, oh, yeah, my heart beats for Eurovision. And me. And of course, I got a sister. Yeah, we got, I got a sister. <laughs> <laughs> 